knows to defend. Sam Hartman to Wake Forest quarterback, and he's going to be sacked back inside the 20. Slow mesh to Wake Forest likes to run. Second and 16, Hartman with time across the middle, incomplete. Pressure, Hartman flings it. Midfield, incomplete. You know, we enjoyed talking with him this week, Alyssa. Hartman pulls it out, pass is cut, and the first big gainer, A.T. Perry. He made great decisions as he's riding that slow mesh in the backfield. After gain of four, Hartman, pressure, down he goes, sack number two. Supremely talented, starting to reach their potential the last few weeks. Here comes pressure, Hartman, sacked. Matt, thank you very much. Screen pass, Roberson, bottled up. But they've really been coming on for the last several weeks. A confusion with that snap. Hartman trying to buy a little time and sling it out of bounds. Play just a touch slower than what they're playing right now. On third down, more pressure. Hartman somehow escapes, nearly intercepted. Back, he's Quentin Cooley in the Wake Forest backfield. Play action. Hartman, pass caught. Taylor Morin. Roberson in motion. And second and six. Hartman again pressured and down he goes. Third down, pressure. Hartman incomplete. The offensive coordinator for Wake to find an answer. Hartman again pressure. Hartman again. Receiver at the bottom of your screen. Hartman. Perry. First down, Wake Forest. Easy on Hartman, who throws an accurate ball. Hartman now feeling it. And look at the pace. Breakneck off the screen. Keyshawn Williams close to first down yardage. They turn into another positive play. And Hartman on second and short. Needed just over a yard. He'll get there. A gap pressure. Hartman keeps it across the middle. A.T. Perry. Another first down. The effect that this has on the second level defenders for Clemson. After a gain of 16, Hartman back to the air. Dangerous toss, pass is caught, Morin has it. That's a big loss. Tenth play of the drive, Hartman pulls it out. Pass will be caught, Roberson has it. Because things get very difficult to run it between the tackles. There on cue, Hartman the pump fake, trying to make something happen. End zone and incomplete. 13th play of the drive. Hartman, all afternoon to toss it. End zone, broken up and incomplete. End over end, who cares? And remember, he was injured in that previous possession as well before coming back on the field. Hartman on the rollout, pass will be caught. Just a couple times, because Clemson kind of selling out up the middle. Hartman pulls it out, now springs ahead. And Hartman, a magician this season. He'll throw it here. First down, Wake Forest. Love a good hit, bud. <laughs> How about that? Love that. After the first down, Hartman goes deep. Keyshawn Williams incomplete. This good at rushing the passer. Tigers already with four sacks on the afternoon. Hartman a clean pocket. Flat top defense. Right now, it's looking like pressure here and here. There it comes. Across the middle, Roberson, and that's a chain mover. Tripped up. Obviously recognized the pressure was coming. They had to dump it. Hartman. Roberson turns around, makes the catch, it'll be first down and goal. Hartman under center, tries the left side and nothing there. Done. Diggs get it back. Timeout to work with. And Hartman rolls out the pocket, and that's a first down grab. Adjusting and finding some answers here in the final 15 minutes of the half. It's a 12 yard gain, third catch for Morin, and that pass incomplete against this Clemson front seven. And not easy as well without the services of Christian Beal Smith, Hartman, as his tight end Blake Whitehart. Hartman steps up, Hartman fires, Morin first down. Normally I'd say spike it, but you can run a play with their tempo. Off of play action, Hartman wants it all towards the end zone and broken up at the last minute. Ample leg strength, all time leading scorer in Wake Forest history, Hartman. Down he goes, and the ball pops out. Skowski has it. The runner was down. Let's expect an out route to the top or something like that to the boundary. Hartman with time. Heaves it. Morin. 
And was it intercepted? Andrew Booth comes away with it. They're really deep in the well at center as he increased the pressure internally. Hartman sensing it. Hartman going down at the 30. Side, but move the quarterback. Get him moving a little bit. Pressure. Hartman in zone. And a penalty marker. On the call. Diggs get it back. Hartman dropped the football. And who's got it? And you got to start really taking into account the clocks. It's a four possession game right now. Injuries mounting up for the Deeks in this one. Missing offensive linemen, running backs, Hartman. I'm not getting conservative defensively at all. Time for Hartman. Has Williams. Eliminate the pre-snap mistakes. High snap, Hartman corrals it, across the middle, incomplete. Getting meaningful reps in this third quarter. Hartman with time. Hartman towards the end zone looking for Perry against Wiggins and he bats it down. Wake Forest had nine rushing yards before that run for 13 by Cooley. Hartman, pocket collapses and guess what? Another Clemson sack. Football with a streak like that. After a loss of five, it's the slow mesh. Hartman make it. Hartman inside the 20 the pass will be caught and hand it off too you got a really favorable box for run if you want to Hartman Williams and he slips in behind just a great job there by the right side of the Deeks off at the blind will go for two to try to make it a 17 point game Cooley drifts out Hartman through the progressions and incomplete PC championship game, so there's about to be a lot of chaos in the next couple weeks of college football. That ball was tipped and still caught. The Big 12, I think, is in a difficult spot. A lot of those matchups are tricky. I think Oklahoma State's a good team, for sure. Heavily favored against Georgia Tech and then Stanford next week. They're probably going to be 11-1 by Cincinnati and Notre Dame. How about that? Well, if Notre Dame makes it that far, that's certainly a check mark in favor of the Bearcats, who won in South Bend. Everything there. If they can run the table somehow in the next couple weeks and finish at 12 and 1. And that Utah Oregon matchup tonight on ABC. UVA, obviously, not a great defense, so maybe a big opportunity for Kenny Pickett's Heisman potential. If, in fact, he can put together a big game. But the Heisman race, far from over. I think I heard Matt Barrett 1 point 17 for 18 was Stroud. How about the catch by Roberson of the one handed variety? Tempo for the Deeks. Hartman keeps it, lasso from behind, and down he goes. Second and goal. Hartman nearly picked off. Hartman directing traffic, floats it, and it's caught. Whitehart 